Well, good morning, YouTube fans. Those of you that are left after the mass exodus from my last video. I appreciate your loyalty sticking with the channel. And this is Cruise Man, and I'm just getting ready to leave from my breakfast here at Awake. I think somebody wants my parking spot. Still don't have a pin lock. But I'm ordering a new one today. The other one I had got into a drawer and got really scratched up. So I'm going to have to get me a new one. But anyway, if you're new to the channel, welcome. This is a uh, channel that tries to focus on motorcycles. But I want to thank you for joining me today, and I want to invite you to subscribe to the channel. I ride a uh, 2018 Honda Goldwing, but a lot of the topics we talk about are pretty general to any bike you ride, so it doesn't matter really to me what you ride, you're welcome here. So consider clicking that little subscribe button and the little notification bell. Join in. Of course, I'm leaving back to go back to the house at the absolute worst time of day with the heaviest traffic. It is uh, just after 8 o'clock in the morning. It is about 50 degrees outside. But it feels colder than 50 today for some reason. Could be the humidity or some other factors. I think I might, there might be a break in the traffic here. I think I might be able to get out. Now, a lot of, <clears throat> a lot of you on my last video asked, in fact, on all my videos, a lot of you asked me about my jacket. This is an Olympia jacket. I do not know the model name. I'm sure they don't make it anymore. And in fact, I heard recently through the grapevine that Olympia Motorsports is going out of business. And that's really, really sad news for me because I've been wearing Olympia's jackets for years. So I'm going to have to find another jacket manufacturer, another company that uh, will fit me good and meets all of my stringent criteria. So let me know in the comments down below what brand of jacket that you wear. Now this is not a winter riding jacket. I think some people mistakenly think it is. It is a three-quarter jacket, but it does have mesh in it to let air flow through. And I don't, I usually only wear this in the winter. It's a little bit warmer than my Air Glide 4. I think I have an Air Glide 4 from Olympia, which is a shorter jacket. It's not a three-quarter and it uh, but it has much more mesh in it and it's much cooler in the summer but when it gets down around 40 degrees 45 degrees this jacket's a little bit warmer and before i got on the bike what i did is i left this morning i had on my bon armor thermal undergarment but i forgot to put on the uh, Olympia windbreaker which is also waterproof but I use it kind of as a windbreaker because it does do a better job of kind of breaking the wind than <laughs> no pun intended there but it does a better job of, of protecting against the cold wind than just the uh, Bon Armor thermal normally you would leave that liner in the jacket you would never even take it out I just take I just leave it unzipped. I don't zip it in. I just leave it in my saddlebag in case I need it. Usually only wear it when it's raining because it is waterproof. And one of the things I loved about the Olympia jacket, about their design, is that rain, waterproof rain liner could be worn on the outside of the jacket or on the inside. 
so that uh, if you have to pull over on the side of the road you didn't have to take off your jacket you could just put the the waterproof liner on over so it worked kind of like a rain suit you might say but apparently Olympia is going away and that is very sad news now I did get one piece of good news yesterday when I got back to the house and that is one of the manufacturers for one of the products that I've been reviewing and in fact I have the video ready to go I've just been waiting on them to get their inventory levels up to speed one of those uh, companies contacted me to let me know that they said within three to five days they were going to have their inventory levels back back to uh, you know a good level and I, I suspect that means they'll want me to release the video early next week and I'm very excited to release this video because it's a, a very very cool product that I'm I'm actually pretty excited about uh, I also have some new products coming in from Bon Armor, our friends over at Bon Armor. I just mentioned to you about my thermal uh, shirt, which also has the armor in it. So I have a couple of new things coming in from Bon Armor that are very, very exciting. I can't wait to see those. They have some uh, new stuff coming online. I don't know if you just saw that little Lexus up there almost pull over into that lane. I guarantee you, he or she is texting and not paying attention to what they're doing. And that's why when I'm riding my motorcycle, I try to avoid being right next to another car or truck. And there's something about Dallas-Fort Worth, and maybe it's not just Dallas-Fort Worth, maybe this is universal, but there's something about people here who seem to want to always be in your blind spot. They love to get in the blind spot. So you have to really, really be on your toes here. And it doesn't help when you're distracted by motor vlogging either, I might say. So let me know in the comments down below what jacket you wear. Do you have a warm weather and a cold weather jacket? What are they? Uh, I'm, I'm probably going to try to take a look at Revit. And uh, I think in the past I had a Tour Master I was pretty happy with. I might go back and look at Tour Master again. And it seemed like it fit pretty well. I don't recall it, any big problems with Tourmaster. I just got into the Olympia world and I really, really liked Olympia jackets. But uh, obviously I'll have to come up with another solution. Beautiful morning. It's just cold. It's no, there's no wind. You know, very little wind. Uh, it's just, it uh, looks like 51 degrees now. And, believe it or not, it's going to get up to over 75 degrees here today. <clears throat> it was 70 yesterday. I was actually able to get out and wash the car. It was absolutely beautiful yesterday. And it's going to be another beautiful day today. But then we're going to get a little cold front coming in for the weekend. It's supposed to... Uh, cool down for a couple days but then get nice again early next week so I'm excited about that that's why I got out to ride this morning because I knew this is going to be the last morning for probably a couple of days at least that I'll be able to ride the bike so maybe early next week I'll be able to do another motor vlog I did hear from my friend Jed down in uh, Australia that they are having some pretty nice riding weather, nice warm weather down there. I never have ridden in Australia. I have ridden in New Zealand twice. I rode in the North Island one year, and then one year we uh, went back, we rode on the South Island. We were there on projects for our cruise website, so we added a few extra days at the end of the cruise, and we rented a Goldwing uh, both times and uh, 
toured the North Island and the South Island. Anyway, when we were on the South Island, we toured the South Island, but we were on the north side of the South Island. So we didn't get all the way down to Queensland. It would have added an extra couple of days to our trip. And I kick myself for not going ahead and spending that extra time to get down to Queensland because that's where the really beautiful riding in on the South Island is. I think the so southern part of the South Island is where they they film a lot of Lord of the Rings and stuff like that. It's just really, really beautiful uh, scenery and I think that's where they get all the uh, glaciers and all of that. It just would have been a really cool place to see and I can't, I'm kind of mad at myself for not uh, spending the extra two or three days to, to maybe go down there and and see that part of New Zealand. I mean, it's such a long flight to get to New Zealand anyway. It was ridiculous to not go ahead and stay an extra few days and see it. And we've been to New Zealand twice and it's just a it's an amazing place. It's basically a paradise. In Australia, we've been to Australia uh, at least once, and it was cool too. I, w I wish we had ridden the motorcycle there while we were there, because we had the time to do it, we just didn't do it. I think we spent four days in Sydney, very cool city. And uh, so we have some followers down in Australia. If you're from Australia and you follow us on, in, on this channel, let us know in the comments. Love to hear from you. So anyway, that's it for today. Not a whole lot to talk about other than the stuff that's coming up. I want to thank you for joining me again today. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And uh, once again, I appreciate those of you that uh, continue to support the channel. And as always, I want to remind you if you're out there riding to ride safe and warm. And I will see you on the next Cruise Man's Motor Vlog.